Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. So we had a big update yesterday and then we got some huge news confirmed for this season yesterday as well. And it's to do with a live event. We may have two live events this season and I've got all the details here for you. Plus, we're going to be talking a lot about Fort Nightmares. Stick with me. Let's start with the event stuff. A season four mini event is confirmed. However, it's earlier than we thought. It's been confirmed to come next update, 31.3. That will be next week. Should be Tuesday morning, the usual date, right? The 1st of October, uh, 4 a.m. Eastern. We'll be making videos right away as soon as downtime begins. The code name for this event, this is how we found out about it, is called Deck Bed Event. And it's confirmed because there is a timer attached to this. So I bet the timer and then the files will reveal a lot about the event in the next update. I don't think the event will actually happen until later on, closer to Fort Nightmares, because it's either going to be Doom related or Fort Nightmares related or both. There could be, and I think will be, another mini event at the end of the season in 31.4. Or, if you missed the last video, they've just started testing another downtime update that wasn't planned, 31.41, which should be one week before OG Chapter 2. Usually when they do these uh, 0 .01, 0 .41, etc. type of updates, they are for live events just to add some last minute files in in the last week or so. So yeah, it's looking like for sure one going to be related to Fort Nightmares and coming sooner rather than later. And then possibly a second one that will transition us from Fort Nightmares into OG Chapter 2. Now a couple of guesses here. There is just kind of a cool photo here from Akko and Fort Nightmares with Mephisto. I saw all the comments. I've been saying it wrong. I, this happens every third video, I feel like. So my bad. I really should look these things up. Maybe I just like getting torn apart in the comments. Part of the fun, I laugh at it, and then I laugh at myself. So Mephisto, right? That's right. I think that's right. So he should be coming. We've talked about a bunch of the collabs that are coming. This guy's been teased a lot. So maybe we see him revealed in our update next week. And again, the timer could start in our update next week. We'll at least probably find out when it's going to start. It might be like an eight, nine day timer leading to October 15th because Fort Nightmares is planned to be either October 11th or October 15th, okay? One of those days, and I'm sure the live event, the mini event's gonna happen right before the release of Fort Nightmares. So a couple of guesses on what this event could be. Restro says the mini event on October 5th is 100% going to be Doom vs. Hope's First Battle. I don't know if this is confirmed yet. Again, this could be the uh, timer start date. Let's not nail down an exact date just yet, but we're looking at the content. It's going to be Doom vs. Hope's First Battle. This big loading screen we saw a couple updates ago is the reason we think slash know this there is going to be a battle will we get to see it happen live i hope so this is our final season you know technically of the chapter i know we have og but that seems like a separate thing in my mind so they could go a little bigger with more of a live event than we've seen in the previous seasons here. Now there is some bad news here and it's to do with Jones and we mentioned it a while back but now that we know there's possibly two live events and the the hope event could be coming as soon as next week there is a theory going around that Jones will die this season. He's mentored hope enough for her to take his place and avenge him. The Oracle spoke of victory hidden in defeat, so one of the defeat theories is that we may lose Jones. So the biggest teaser here, or the biggest thing that's going to happen, someone is going to go down. We're going to win the battle, but it's going to cost us something. We're going to lose somebody, and people aren't thinking it's going to be Hope, right? They've been building up this character. It'd be a little too soon to take her out. It could be her. But, you know, Jones, you need someone that's going to hit the heartstrings a little bit for us Fortnite fans. And Jones going down, but in doing so, we win the battle or whatever ends up playing out here. That would be a good way to do it. Now, we are going to be talking in more detail here about Fort Nightmares. But first, I want to talk about exactly what's going on with our new update. I did a video right before the update dropped, but now that it's out, here's what's going on. Ranked Reload, Duos, and Squads is now available. There also reminder running a siphon trials test so what this is every week they are doing a different version of siphon in the tournaments and ranked and then based on i guess feedback and how the matches play out they will then decide for the big event 
what the final uh, choice will be. So at this point, it's 40 effective health, which just means siphon on shield or health. And then they mess around with that number, 50, 25. Then they're going to try 75 health over time, but no shield as part of siphon. 50 health at once, no shield, and then 25 health, 25 shield, okay? I mean, just based on the first, I'm always used to the original, the 50 effective health. I don't really know why they have to complicate this. However, I mean, if they're going to uh, do a testing period for it, I, I can't really be mad at that. We'll see what ends up happening. Also, it is the birthday update and everything is live. There's the free rank skin. I mean, this is more connected to the release of Reload, but yeah, earn 50 levels up until November 11th. That's how much time you have to get this free skin. But then once you have it, you will have uh, ongoing seasons. Like if you hit a peak rank two seasons from now, you will unlock the style for the skin. It's just the skin's only gonna be free here uh, for about a month and a half, okay? So get grinding if you're interested in this thing. It's really good looking skin felina is the name as for the birthday we've got presents we've got cakes we've got the flare gun we've got the birthday bus you can get a free uh, set of cosmetics as usual just by doing some quests i mean they're always just kind of a reskinned look at these they don't really get me excited anymore but at the same time it's free stuff so you might as well grind for them there is a new balloons medallion found in presence. And what it does, you're automatically just gonna get a balloon attached to you at set intervals up to a maximum of three total. So it's like the balloon item, but turned into a medallion. A lot of people are joking around saying this is better than the stealth medallion anyways, right? The stealth medallion's just, it's just not that good of a medallion. So this thing, balloons are a lot of fun. It's always been a good item. Let's talk Fort Nightmares. It has been confirmed by Epic Games. The update, like I said, is dropping on October 11th or October 15th. We'll get new Halloween skins, multiple collabs, and then some, a lot of POI changes as well. There's gonna be a few, I believe three POIs having major, you know, Halloween theme changes. We don't know what those POIs are yet. The collab we for sure know about is the Saw collab as we have teasers for it in the files and eventually will be in game. Mephisto, like we've talked about, is likely. Nightmare Before Christmas Wave 2 is rumored. And then Spider-Man vs. Venom. This is confirmed for Fortnite and Rocket League. It, at this point, is only for vehicles. However, we may get the return of some of these cosmetics we may get new skins. We're not going to get the answer to this question until our next update next week. And then creative wise, they did. This is how we kind of found out about the confirmation here is they are looking for multiple Halloween themed maps. So calling out to creators to start making these things. Proximity chat will be required for any of the maps that get chosen for this Halloween call out. And the deadline to submit is October 7th. So if you're a creator, get in there. If you're a player, Get ready for a lot of proximity chat. Okay, last video, I had a little bit of the information wrong. I mean, it was right, but I was theorizing when it's actually just fact. We are getting Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and Frozone skins for sure with the Incredibles. They haven't been decrypted yet. I mean, we've seen them in the Disney announcement, but we haven't seen them in game yet. But the thing we did learn in the last video, if you missed it, is that Edna will be a part of the collab in some way. At this point, we think it's for the original suits that they wore because there's a tag related to the collab, Edna Mode Original. So hoping that these will be the same skin, right? Where you get a style instead of having to purchase, you know, Mr. Incredible twice based on which suit you want, the classic red or the original blue and black. So these three skins are confirmed. Will we get any more? I hope so. Give us as many as possible. Not sure if that's going to happen. You think if we were getting more, they would have announced it, but we will wait and see. There is a limited Fortnite controller coming this year. There are no cosmetics or free rewards attached to this thing, but... If you want to collect this or you're a fan of the look of it, it's hit and miss for a lot of people in the comments here. But yeah, it'll be available uh, very soon. Pre-order from October 3rd. First person has officially been announced. We knew from the last update it was officially added for creative. So here's what we know about it. Coming soon to Fortnite Creative First. All ranged weapons are available. Some will even have custom reload animations. Not supported yet. Dual weapons, ballistic shield, swimming, 
gliding, and skydiving. That's all we know. Maybe we get an official look at this in the next update and then we'll have a lot cleaner maps because it will be officially supported, right? We've seen first person arrive in different creative maps uh, throughout the years, throughout, I guess, the last year. But this will really be cleaned up because UEFN is backing it with all... I, I can't wait to see the custom reload animations. I think that'll be cool. That's all I got. Touch that like button. Take care. Talk soon. Coat the camp in Russia. Subscribe. Goodbye.